Hello there, this is New Age Classic Gamer, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Generations. And today we're finally going to finish up the modern era. Thank gosh, we've been stuck here for what, two, three, four parts now? It's getting a little redundant. And we may be taking on the final boss this episode. We might just do that, I'm not sure actually. If I do, then in that case the credits in the final cutscene will have to be put in its own part and there would be no commentary. So we'll just see how things roll. Because we only have two more side missions and this pointless boarding one, I might add. Which is actually rather fun because, you know, it's Sonic on a board and that's just fun in its own way. And oh my gosh, it's been so long since I played this game. Oh man. I'm not going to do terribly well, I hope. Because, you know, that'd be pretty fantastic. No, oh, don't hurt me. Yay. Dang it, I missed trick. This makes me laugh. You can quick step on the board. What? What kind of logic is this? And I'm just missing all these jumps. Oh my goodness. Blame the DVD recorder for years of delay. Said that before, but now I really do mean it. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to blame the DVD recorder anymore. Just me failing. And yeah, this is really just an odd mission. I mean, what kind of momentum makes this physics work? Seriously, he's on a board the entire time. This makes no sense. It's hilarious, and I love it. And I don't need to jump. There's a need to jump here, though, because I don't fall my death. You know, it's kind of a um, problem. How does this work? <laughs> I'm going up a building with a skateboard. I'm not boosting. It makes no sense. That's yeah, so fun, so what's the matter? And yeah, one more mission of Planet Wisp and a boss, and we're done with this era. Thank gosh. Because, you know, we've been here a long time, like I said. And that's really not fun um, to think about it. And, well, hey, what's going on? I was supposed to go that way, but I didn't. I'm scared. And it's all good now. It's all good. And I'm running out of boosts quite frequently. Oh, jeez. It's the Sonic Advance Special Stages all over again on the skateboard and the bomb. It's, oh, man. You know, I was actually playing that recently, oh dear gosh. Sonic Advance, actually yesterday. Going for all the special stages. Oh dear gosh, I had no idea. I can't stand those special stages at all. Don't get me wrong, I did them all, so it's not like I didn't give them a chance. I got all the emeralds. It sucked, but I did it. You have so little la- um, not lack of. You have so little depth perception, it is- crazy how you have to position yourself and it's just so frustrating but you see I think that'd be a great game to be ported to the 3DS cuz with the 3D you can actually tell the distance between you and the rings I just think that'd be a really cool idea to have I mean you know in the backgrounds would be layered and be all schnazzy you know just for my random ideas I'm not even gonna go for that stupid um note this time just gonna get that key and go on a planet wisp I believe it's this mission, because there is one mission in Planet Wisp I absolutely love. And I think it's this one, I really do. Oh, okay. This mission, it just looks so beautiful. I just love it. This is, like, without a doubt, probably my favorite mission in the entire game. And it's for my least favorite level in the game, which is really ironic and sort of hypocritical when you think about it. But, yep, that's where my opinion goes. This is my favorite mission. Just because of the scenery, I mean, look at this. It's just... Oh man. I geek out every time I see this, and oh, man. I pressed triangle, I swear. I'm not lying to you, I pressed it. It's the delay, I swear to God. And I don't recall those sandworm enemies in the um, original Planet Wisp. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I really don't remember them. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I actually recently got the um, Tails, both classic and modern, Jazzwares, three inch figures, I believe they're three inch, and enemies. And it came with, um, the modern came with a Planet Wisp, um, background, and a sandworm. And I was like, I don't remember that enemy in that original level. But it's, I mean, it's here in the remake, so it might have been there. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think it was. Oh, gosh. Almost got hit by the fire. Ah, oh, man, look at the scenery. Just look at it. I'm geeking out so much right now. Like, you have no idea. This just makes me so happy to look at me. It's like in the morning time, there's like mist everywhere and that giant moon. Ah. Love it so much. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it right now. I'm gonna start to creep myself out with the way I'm talking about this scenery. And up. Oh, jeez. Failed timing has failed. Stop. Oh, gosh. I you actually um, died there pretty frequently, that um, section where that floor falls under you, because I have terrible timing, and you should probably know that by now, judging from what I just did literally right there. And there. It's all good. Gosh dang it, it's not all good. I need a ring. Okay, that was just stupidity. And I missed the this thing. Of course I did. And there's the goal. Oh well. You know, we did it. I love that level. And yeah. Not the level, the mission. There's a difference. And five minutes and we're done with all the side missions, and it's on to the boss, which is my least favorite boss in the game. Well, actually, that's not true. That's my second least favorite boss in the game. Including rivals. Just because I've had such a heck of a time with this boss before. My first time through, I just couldn't figure it out. I think it's because it takes so many gosh darn hits to do. I think that's really the reason why. And I need that key, and I don't know where it's at. Um, do, 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 no, it's not there. Oh, well, it's right there. Duh. Boss time. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this! Get that last Chaos Emerald and beat the final boss. Maybe. We'll see how time constraints go. And hear that music? That is E G G M A N Eggman from Sonic Adventure 2, and that's a redone version of that. I said two G's, right? Hope I did. And yeah, this is actually a boss from Sonic Unleash, which you fought as a warhog, but you're doing it here as modern Sonic, which I'm not gonna complain about because not really a big fan of the Warhog, so, you know, there's that. But, uh, this boss is just takes so many freaking hits to kill. And, yep, here we are. Itched that, um, pointless boss before the final boss in Sonic Unleashed. The Egg Dragoon! And he's got a shield for some reason. Because when you hit him, it, like, actually hits him. The shield is pretty pointless. I guess it just signifies that there's two points he can be in, the top or the bottom. And the drill arm. So terrifying. And he's like, oh, I missed. And yeah, he goes down the bottom saying, hey, look, I have two different points you can hit me at. Make sure you hit me at the right point. And basically, he's got two different types of attacks, um, freezing and burning attacks. I think the most annoying would have to be the um, burn because of the timing of the jumps. But freeze can also be pretty pesky when you're in 2D because... The timing is sort of messed up, to be perfectly honest. Ah, oh, come on, I can get two hits, please. Yay, thank you. If you get two hits in that first section, you're pretty much going good, because, yeah. And this section, I really wouldn't recommend boosting, because he does this, and if you're boosting, it's a lot harder to do an air dash. And that timing always screws me over, I swear. And, yep. That's pretty much all there is to it this part, and then he's gonna do time for a change of pace. He's gonna stop you. Careful the timing with these ice chunks. And if you wait too long, he will smash you, smash you, and you will lose rings or die. I normally don't have any rings by that point, so I die, so can't say for sure otherwise. But yeah. This is a really, really repetitive fight. And it's way too long for its own good for being so re gosh darn repetitive. So yeah, that's my opinion of this boss. Not very good. But you know, I mean, it's not a bad boss. Just not really what I like to have in a boss fight like this. Especially um, since this game has such a strong beginning and middle, its ending just feels kind of weak, to be perfectly honest. I mean, the final boss, which I'm going to spoil anyway, um, is uh, probably my least favorite boss in 3D Sonic history. Yeah, um, I don't like it. Ugh. It's my least favorite, including Sonic 06. Yeah, I said it. I just uh, the final boss. We'll get to that in a little bit here. And oh gosh, you need rings. Okay, and we're going to the stupid warp pipe where we're gonna be free falling, and it's even more difficult to hit him because just hold down square, but he attacks you, so you have to keep moving up and down and left and right and all around. <laughs> See what I did there? But yeah, you have to do this just to catch up to him. And then he does this, and you have to catch back up. Come on. Thank you. Then you have to catch back up again to hit him again. Actually, we're exiting the warp zone, so, yeah. 
But yeah, like I was saying, that this final boss is, oh man. They could've done so much more with it. And time for a change of pace, oh gosh. If I had a dollar for every time that line was using the site, it's on um, this fight, the site. <laughs> what is this, I don't even. And yep, oh geez. Air dashing for the win. Oh, come on, let me homing attack. Oh, you jerk. You would. Eh. Don't want to fall. Go, Sonic, go. You can do this. Uh, I think we're getting close here. I hope the heck so, because I don't like this fight, and I want it to be over with. And going down. No. Come on, dodge those drills. I don't want to take that, Robotnik. I don't want to take that. Oh, yeah, I just called him about What now? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Go. Go, 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 go. Get him. Yeah. First try. Thank goodness. Man, oh, man. I thought I was going to have so many difficulties with that fight. And I did in one try. Worst thing I can describe how happy I am right now. And you're probably pretty happy because, you know, you didn't have to watch me fail a thousand times. And I got a trophy. That's nice. That's really nice, actually. Great way to end off the modern era. Ha! Owned. And Classic just randomly appears with Classic Tales. Still looking awesome, I see. I can't believe this. I was supposed to beat I can. you this time. Uh, How I'm about sorry. no? I didn't get that memo. I beat you every time. No, and you see, it's a dialogue that this this makes Eggman yeah, like like more of a clownish what figure than an actual threat. Here? I thought you said he'd been kidnapped by that big weird thing that sent us all to this place. Time paradox? If Eggman was captured, how could he be here? Oh, there's the final boss. Surprise, surprise. This is <laughs> that makes me laugh. Like, see, he was kidnapped. Like, oh, it was no big deal. You know. And, yeah, I think I'm going to do the final boss next episode, judging from the time right now, because it's going to take a while. So, yeah. We're going to get over there. We're going to do all the pointless extras. Then we're going to wait for the next episode to do the final boss. Because we now have all the Chaos Emeralds. And that is awesome, because no more side missions, no more bosses, just a final boss, which is sadly disappointing. So, I guess it really isn't like, awesome. And I kind of like this section right here, actually. Um, let's see coming up once we get this Emerald to yeah. Yay! Okay. Now we gotta save, because, you know, that's what um, PS3 does. Oh, we have to get a tr um, trophy first, I'm sorry. Treasure Hunter, get all the Chaos Emeralds. It's only a bronze, what a ripoff. But yeah, this section right here, um, basically, you need all the Chaos Emeralds to get past the section, because each one fills in one of these holes. And in turn... That puts the gear together. A really slow moving gear, which can be done a thing about. I'm gonna actually go over here and get this screen. Do it this way. And come on. Let me get this emerald restored. Thank you. And yeah, basically put all these um gears together. It allows us to move upward. Come on, thank you. This is much easier than I did it the first time. I had to wait a lot longer. Problem is it moves so slowly. And up here. Come on. Oh, that was epic. Landed right on that gear. How perfect. And it. And it. Eh. I like how there's classic and modern springs right here, if you notice. Come on. Notice my chaos emerald, you fool. Do it. I have to wait. Uh oh. That sucks. Wee, right in the gear. Yeah, yeah, no, I need to beat the dark, mysterious enemy. Go and up. It's like a Ferris wheel, except slightly more demented and filled with more gears. Can't <laughs> get it, Time Eater, all the gears. It's like a clock. Sending Sonic back to his youth. Oh, come on. Oh. Well, that could have been a lot easier if I'd just done that to begin with. Stupid me. And just waiting to get up here. Because, you know, I'm doing a lot of commentary, and thus, um, nothing can be edited. Because this is actually part of the Let's Play that's, um, a lot of commentary, because I figured it's the end. It deserves it. And, 
one more emerald and we are done. I'm gonna try to be a little reckless here and and it didn't work at all. Oh my goodness. And yeah, that's the final boss gate. We just gotta get up there. These gears are moving rather fast now, which is good because I hate things that are slow in my Sonic game. Because it's like, what is this? I don't even. Well, to be fair, um, some sections um, that are slow paced can be fun, but the Warhog has taught me otherwise. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, L2 and R2 can I zoom in and zoom out the camera. How about that? Yeah, I'm starting to run low on commentary, so I'm just gonna... There we go. Okay, got all the emeralds together. And look, it makes this fancy um, cog thing majig that makes the final boss gate turn on. Isn't that special? And everything has to catch fire, apparently, in order to make it more epic. Even though it's not really epic, but... Yeah, semi-boring. I need to check one thing before we end this part off, though. Yeah, we got all the emeralds back for some reason. Those gears are still moving. And I'm going to be straight up with you. The final boss music is terrible. I'm going to change music to... Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't know. We don't really have songs that could change it to. We might just be using the terrible to boss music. Give me something to commentate over, I guess. So, yeah. Next time, we shall be taking on the final boss of this game. And the worst enemy of all, the credits. Ooh. This is New Edge Class Gamer signing off. Hope you enjoy this. Take care.